I got some comments regarding the difference between stream filter and collectors filtering. So um, let's take a look what happens um, if we filter on, on different levels. So now uh, let's run the code first. What happens is uh, the um, the numbers are uh, categorized in buckets, like uh, small, big, and bigger. And let's filter with the stream first. So filter, and let's say the number has to be uh, smaller than one. So and uh, we have small, bigger, and uh, big buckets. Okay, so now rerun the code, and we see that all the buckets or categories are gone. So just only one remained. So okay, but uh, what we could also do is to filter after grouping by. So let's try this. And in this particular case, it would look a little, a little bit differently. Collectors, filtering, and then let's do the same. E, e is smaller than one. And then I have just to tell what, what, what happens with the downstream. And the downstream is just uh, a list. So nothing should happen. Okay, so now let's remove this. And let's filter on this level. And because it filters afterwards, we see that the buckets are there, but they are empty. So there is semantic difference whether we filter uh, with stream or collectors afterwards, because we do perform a task, and after the task, we are filtering. Whereby in stream, with stream, we're filtering first, and then collectors, the terminal operation, collectors, grouping by, partition by, or whatever, kicks in.